Welcome back, IB Economics students. Um, the kink to demand curve is one of the most trickiest concepts in theory of the firm. It is uh, this demand curve right here. If you look at the demand curve, which is equal to the average revenue curve, you can see that it is it, it, it is kinked, which means it is curved. There is a point at which the demand curve changes from elastic to inelastic demand. Now, why is this? Why, why does this curve uh, bend? Why is it not a continuous curve like it is normally? Okay, so in this video, we're going to be examining the kink demand curve, what it is, and why the demand curve is kinked and, and actually curved with, within the oligopolistic market structures. Okay, so within the oligopolistic market structures, um, you must understand game theory and how uh, different firms must work together or work against each other to assure the maximum profit. Okay, so uh, let's let's say a firm. Okay, there, there are three three characteristics. Okay, yeah. You are in a firm. Okay. This is your action. And, and, and the other firms look at your actions and then they base their actions on, on the firm. Okay. So this is their action. And then the last one I'll talk about later. So let's say um, when, when you have a good, you can either raise the price or lower the price. Okay. Or do nothing with the price. So if you do nothing with the price, then the competitors do nothing about the price and therefore nothing happens. So let's say you increase the price. Okay. Pr price increase. When you increase the price, other competitors look at your increase in price and they'd be like, why would I increase my price? When, when you increase your price, all the people come to my firm. So they're just, they won't increase their price. This is in a non-collusive oligopoly, of course. That means the, the, the firms are not working together. They're working against each other. So their action is to remain at the same price. Okay, so that's their action. is to remain at the same price. Let's say you decrease your price. When you decrease your price, they, uh, the other firms want to keep up with your profits and they want to not lose their customers. Therefore, they would also decrease their price. They also decrease their price in order to ensure that the profits uh, that you're making, all, not all the consumers, will go to your firm because you'll have cheaper goods. So um, they decrease their price in order to incentivize the consumers to remain, at, uh, to remain and continue to buy from your store. So what is the elasticity? What is the elasticity of when you increase your price? When you increase your price, the elasticity is going to be elastic. That means price changes are relatively, uh, affects the demand relatively high. So this is elastic. However, when you decrease your price, other firms also decrease their price. Therefore, their elasticity is inelastic. Okay. Therefore, once again, when we examine the kink demand curve, we could see this from this section right here, all the way to the to the uh, original production quantity or the original production price and quantity. The uh, demand curve is elastic, and right here is inelastic. Right. That is because that is directly because of the kink demand curve, where non-collusive oligopolies will want to work against each other in order to maximize their profits, and that is done by either increasing your price, increasing their by either decreasing their price with other firms decrease their price and not increasing their price while other firms increase their price. So I hope this uh, video is helpful in clarifying why the demand curve uh, for oligopolies are kinked and why the demand curves for oligopolies are actually uh, shaped in such a weird manner. So I hope to see you guys in the next video where we will be graphing oligopolies and all the, all the minute details of how to graph an oligopoly.